Hi, my name is Lisa Aguirre and I am a certified focal point business coach. I'm also an employment attorney and today I'm going to talk to you about hiring. And that is hiring for your small business in order to get the best fit for your company. In a small business, it is critical that all employees get along, be able to work together as a team, and to uh, enjoy working at your company. It is more difficult to quote unquote hide an employee in a small company than it is a big company. So hiring is a critical step and a critical piece in making sure that your company runs smoothly and profitably. Jim Collins, who wrote the book Good to Great, said, great vision without great people is irrelevant. And that's true. Employees are a critical component of your business strategy. In fact, they typically take up the greatest part of your budget and oftentimes take up the greatest amount of your time. Therefore, it's very important to uh, properly hire, again, hiring properly on the front end so that you don't have problems on the back end. You don't have to deal with the negative consequences of your employee's conduct or performance. So what are the steps that a small business needs to take in order to hire the best people uh, for the job? First of all, it's important to establish a recruiting system and to know where to look for these employees. You're going to be competing with perhaps some of the larger companies and you'll need to look for these employees in places that maybe some of those companies don't look. Always remember to emphasize the positive in your company. As a small company, you are much more nimble than larger companies and can offer employees greater flexibility. And be sure to ask the right questions. It's important to ask name, rank, serial number, experience, education, etc. But there are questions that can be asked that are designed to elicit whether or not this employee will be the best fit for your company. One of the most important things you can do as a small business owner is plan. And planning when you're in the hiring process is important. If you plan in advance, you can eliminate a lot of the problems that you may come across during the interviewing process. So the first thing we need to do is establish a recruiting system. Think about what position it is you are hiring for. Be very clear about the position. Name it. What do you want the employee to accomplish? So for example, you may think you need a receptionist for your small business, but then you also think that the receptionist may open up the mail, may distribute the mail, may draft simple correspondence. Well, when you're looking for the person to fill that position, be sure you know that these are the additional duties that you might want this person to accomplish. Because if you go out and hire a receptionist, the additional skills needed for your small business and the particular needs of your small business may not be focused on with these potential job seekers. Obviously, what are the education and experience requirements? Be sure you understand that. Make sure you are paying competitively. Research the pay scale for similar jobs in the industry. Draft a job description. This is important because it will force you to think about what is it that this person is going to do? What are the tasks that I expect them to accomplish? What are the physical requirements of the job? Uh, how often do I think they're going to have to carry something heavy? Or how often are they going to have to walk? How often are they going to have to stand? Things like this. All of this pre-planning will help you greatly once you're sitting down and interviewing potential candidates. Be very, very sure that you understand what position you're hiring for, what the duties and responsibilities are, what the expectations will be, because if you don't understand the position, it is going to be very, very difficult for you to communicate it to your potential candidate. Next, 
where are you going to look for your candidates? Again, this is going to depend largely on what position you're trying to fill. But if, for example, you're filling your receptionist slash administrative assistant position that we discussed in the last slides, maybe you want to go to a local college. While these folks may not have a lot of experience, they are enthusiastic, they are hungry, and they are willing to learn. So if you're willing to train, someone just out of college might be the perfect fit for your small business. You can also go to temporary agencies. This is a good way for you to get a look-see at a potential candidate, see how they work, see how they fit before hiring them permanently. Also, look at job postings, uh, things like Monster and uh, other, uh, uh, other job posting sites like that. The problem with these sites is you may get lots of unqualified candidates. You may get lots of people who are merely looking for a job and may not at all be interested in or qualified for the job that you've posted. Social media. Millennials, those folks between the years uh, 18 to 34, are very savvy on social media. They use uh, Facebook. They use LinkedIn. They use Twitter. They use all of these social media devices to communicate with each other, and they will expect that you as a small business owner will do the same. So be creative in how you advertise for this position. Think about using social media to reach out to those 18 to 34 year olds who are already very well experienced and well versed in the use of this media. And again, use your own networks, your own networks of other small business owners, people you know at other companies. They are a great resource for uh, discovering where to find candidates. They may even know of a candidate who's looking for a job. So again, use your own networks. When you're advertising for the position, emphasize the positive of your business. You cannot offer the great perks that a Google, a Microsoft, a Yahoo, etc. might be able to offer. You don't have the on-site gymnasium. You don't have the cafeteria. But you do have benefits that these large companies aren't able to offer. For example, you could offer somebody immediate experience. They're going to have increased responsibility and perhaps even supervisory authority. They may have decision-making authority. You could offer them quick advancement or career development opportunities. In addition, you may be able to offer them flexible schedules or teleworking. All of this is a great and big positive of being a small business. You are more nimble. You are more flexible. You are able to uh, give people immediate experience and responsibility because again you're small you don't have the hierarchy you don't have the management that some of these other large companies have these are all things that uh, young people in particular millennials especially are looking for they're looking for immediate responsibility um, and and experience this is another great co quote from Jim Collins's book good to great. Most companies in determining the right person place greater weight on character attributes than on specific educational background, practical skills, or specialized knowledge. In other words, look for important character traits in your candidates. Once you've uh, posted the job, once you've gotten some resumes and applications back, you will be able to screen out those people who are clearly not qualified. Either they don't have the educational requirements, they don't have the experience level. And once you've screened out these people, the interview should be devoted almost exclusively to determining who's the right fit, who has the necessary character traits, to work well with the people you already have in your small business. As a matter of fact, the Carnegie Foundation did a study where they determined that 85% of a person's work su success is attributed to character. 15% of that work success is attributed to skill and knowledge. 
you can't tr uh, teach character. You can teach, oftentimes, the skill and knowledge necessary to perform the job. So in interviewing, look for those people who are the best fit and have the best character for your business. The interview is the most important part of the hiring process, and you have very little time available to you uh, in order to get to know a particular candidate. I generally suggest to set aside at least 45 minutes for an initial interview, and be sure to uh, call back the best candidates in order to interview with others in your organization as well. The interview should be designed to get to know the person, to ask questions uh, designed to get at attitude, character, and fit, and to determine who is the best qualified given experience, education, and most importantly, fit. Here are some questions that I've used in the past to uncover uh, attitude and character. These are the most important attributes, as we discussed, in a potential hire. You want to be sure that you ask these types of questions because the answers will determine how well, A, these candidates get along with others, and B, what their attitude and character is, not only towards your values, but towards a work ethic. So these and other questions like these can help you uncover the important traits of attitude and character. Finally, if you would like some additional information about interviewing and hiring and would like a list of questions that I've designed to articulate and get to those candidates who might be the best fit, who have the uh, the character and the attitude that your small business needs, feel free to email me at ellaguire at focalpointcoaching.com and I'd be happy to send those questions to you in return email. Thank you very much and I appreciate you listening.